My cool school project is all about monsters. A lot of people think monsters are scary, but most of them aren't. Unless you include my little brother when he doesn't brush his teeth and he breathes on you. Ew! But I think most monsters are pretty cool. First of all, what do monsters look like? Some are tall, some are short. Some monsters are super cute, some are less cute. Some look furry, some look fuzzy, and some monsters just look funny. Monsters can come in super handy, like when you need a tissue. Achoo! Gesundheit. Thanks. Or when you have a bug problem. Delicious. Or if you just need a cool sidekick. Thanks. And when you get tired, they're like giant stuffed animals. You might think that monsters like to hide under beds and in closets and scare people. Not true. Monsters actually live in trash cans, castles, lakes, and snowy mountains. Sometimes they live in your pocket, like Pokemon. Yeah, in Japan we're called pocket monsters. Hey, you're only supposed to say your name. Oops, I mean... Pika Pika! Monsters like to go to school, eat dessert, mm, cookie, cuddle, and sing. Some monsters just like to watch TV. Oh, and they love to dance. They even have their own dance called the Monster Mash. You did the monster. The most important thing to know about monsters is that you should never be afraid of them. But just in case you're ever kind of scared, just remember you can totally defeat the monster. Here are a few ways. Number one, turn on your nightlight. Ah! Monsters hate nightlights. Number two, yell boo. Ah! That works every time. Number three, throw snowballs. Ah! And number four, just replace their cookies with yucky stuff. Mmm, cookie. Ah, mushroom! So basically, monsters are super cool and awesome and fun and not scary at all. And if I got to have my very own monster, I would name her Frankenstein. And we would play hilarious pranks on my brother like all the time. Ew! That would be so sweet! So what's your favorite monster? And if you had your own monster, what would you name it? Tell me in the comments. Don't go anywhere. More kids wikis are on the way. My cool school project is all about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs lived millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of years ago. That's a lot of years ago. The word dinosaur means terrible lizard, but I don't think they're terrible at all. I think they're cool. Okay, maybe that dino is kind of terrible. Leave some cake for the rest of us, Rex. Sorry. Some dinosaurs are small, like the Musaurus. That name means mouse lizard. I wonder if the Musaurus likes cheese. Some are big, like the Apatosaurus. Hey, I was born this way. Some are really, really, really big, like the Titanosaurus. The Titanosaurus was so big that scientists say she might have been as long as two Mack trucks and weighed as much as 14 elephants. Okay, I'll go on a diet. That reminds me of a joke. What time is it when a Titanosaurus sits on her fence? Time to get a new fence. The Tyrannosaurus rex, or the T-Rex, is one of the most famously ferocious dinosaurs. But his arms are so tiny, it was probably hard for him to tie his shoes. Did you know there's another dino called the P-Rex? The P stands for Pinocchio. That's because he told so many fibs. Of course I ate all my peas. Now what's for dessert? He's called Pinocchio Rex because this dinosaur had a long nose, just like Pinocchio. Plus, he probably didn't eat peas at all because the P-Rex was a carnivore. Carnivores eat meat. Other dinosaurs are leaf eaters. They eat, well, leaves. And some dinosaurs eat anything, like Yoshi. You might call him a nom nom nomivore. Whenever Yoshi eats something, he lays an egg. Dinosaur eggs are really colorful. A stegosaurus has spikes on his back. But what if there was a Legosaurus? He would be really colorful too. Some dinosaurs can fly, like the Pegasaurus. Just kidding, I made that one up. But the pterodactyl could fly. Even though dinosaurs lived a long time ago, we still find parts of them today. These are called fossils. There are even fossil Pokemon, like Mega Aerodactyl. Scientists can learn a lot about dinosaurs from fossils, like how big the dino was, how long ago it lived, and even how smart they were. They say the Trudon was the smartest dinosaur. Hey Trudon, what's two plus two? Uh, two, two? Okay, not that smart but pretty good at ballet. Some dinosaurs were really fast, and some are really slow. To sum it all up, dinosaurs lived a super long time ago, and they were totally awesome, and they couldn't tie their shoes. 
If I could name my own dinosaur, I'd name it Super Awesome Saurus. Or maybe just Calvin. And I'd ride around on it all day, and I'd let all my friends ride on him too. Everybody gets a dino ride. My project is all about dragons. Dragons come in all different shapes and sizes, but all of them are awesome. They have wings, so they can fly through the air. They can even do tricks. Some dragons are really cute, like Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Aw, he doesn't have any teeth. On the other hand, in Sleeping Beauty, Maleficent turns into a dragon with a whole bunch of teeth. It's probably tougher to use a toothbrush. Some dragons breathe fire. They do this to protect their gold or because they just ate a bunch of spicy chicken wings. Why does he even need all that gold? To buy more spicy chicken wings? Other dragons breathe ice. That's handy for when your ice cream is starting to melt. Thanks. Some dragons just have bad breath. That's the scariest breath of all. Maybe he needs to brush his teeth too. There are dragons that are big enough for you to ride on. And then there are dragons that are small enough to ride on you. Most kids love dragons. My older sister even likes them called Imagine Dragons. They don't look like regular dragons. I think they're radioactive or something. Like Godzilla. Godzilla likes to step on buildings. He's not a really a dragon though. More of a dinosaur. We'll talk about dinosaurs later. For now, back to dragons. Dragons are used as symbols for a lot of things. Knights used to have dragons on their shields. During the Chinese New Year, you can see a dragon dance. No, not that kind of dragon dance. That's better. Some dragons are magic, but some are not. This list is starting to drag on. So in conclusion, dragons live in castles and lighthouses, up on mountains and down in caves. They can be cuter than a kitten and friendlier than a dog. Dragons can fly you to school so you don't have to take the bus. And that's why you should have a dragon as a pet. So, what's your favorite dragon? Is it from a movie, a book, a video game? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe.